All right, we have a Alienware Alpha 3, I believe it is. Um, has an i3, uh, 10 gigs in it. Um, we're gonna be taking the hard drive out of it and we're gonna be putting a uh, SanDisk SSD 256 gig uh, SSD in it. So I already jumped ahead a little bit and uh, you got four screws. So you got one there, here, here and here. So you got one on each corner of the, the board. Um, you're gonna want to take this off just so it's out of your way. Um, and then I'm just gonna pry the sides here, get the bottom cover off. And like I said, this was a lot easier for me because I've already taken this apart. Our hard drive sits right in this casing. We've already removed this screw right here. So you're gonna push that forward to here unlock. And there we have our two and a half inch spinning hard drive, which is what's the bottleneck is on this computer. So that's why we're upgrading it to that solid state drive. So you're gonna take these four screws off. Now you can either clone this drive to your SSD using cloning software or maybe a, a third party hardware device. Um, but in this instance, I have nothing that I need to save. So I'm just gonna wipe it um, and then install the SSD and do a fresh install of Windows 10 on it. And if you need help doing Windows 10 on a thumb drive to install on a machine, you can click the uh, video in my video channel to watch that video on how to install Windows 10 on a thumb drive. So you're going to remove that. Gonna make sure, place it, yep. Oh. The thing we check, it actually goes, your pins go downward on there. So then when it gets pushed in, be in the right area. So let's get our screws back in. I love these upgrades because you're basically taking an older machine um, and the bottleneck in a lot of these older computers is the hard drive. So if you just replace the hard drive with an, a solid state drive from a spinning drive, that computer is going to be five times or ten times faster than what it was before. So I like doing these simple upgrades. This SSD was like maybe 40 or 50 bucks. Um, so it's really not an, an inexpensive upgrade if you don't want to switch computers. All right, so we got all of our four, four screws in. Same deal, place it down, lock it in. Put our screw here to secure the drive in place. Put our cover back on. Here I'll snap in, put all of our last four screws in. All right, there you have it. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our power supply and hook it up to a monitor and start installing Windows 10 on it. All right, so now we're ready to install that Windows 10. 
So let's plug in our HDMI here in the out port. And then our power, and then I can't forget our USB keyboard and mouse, and then finally our Windows 10 install on the thumb drive. So let's going to power this up, and then we'll switch to the monitor here. All right, so we really didn't have to do much of anything. We literally plugged in our monitor, keyboard and mouse, the Windows 10 thumb drive since it's a brand new drive. The computer automatically detects there's no OS on that drive. So it automatically switches to that thumb drive to boot up from. Now, in some cases, if it doesn't do that, then you need to hit F10 or F12 and select, depending on the BIOS, you need to select a different boot order and select the thumb drive to boot from. And then you're gonna get this screen. So let's go right ahead and hit next. Install now. Accept the terms of service and sign your life away. Go to custom. There's our two uh, 40 gig SSD. Hit next. And then once this gets done, it's going to automatically reboot the computer, take the thumb drive out at that point, and you got a fresh copy of Windows 10 on your new Alienware Alpha machine.